The Shanghai Expo came to a close on October the 31st. During the six-month expo period, more than two million people were welcomed to the Hong Kong Pavilion, and over 1.3 million people to Hong Kong's UBPA exhibition. The Chief Secretary for Administration, Mr. Henry Tang, who is also the Chairman of the Steering Committee for Hong Kong SAR's participation in Shanghai Expo 2010. Keep a close eye on the progress of Hong Kong's participation. Since 2008, he has been to Shanghai many times to monitor the construction process and to provide guidance and comments relating to all aspects of Hong Kong's participation. Mr. Tang said, "Shanghai Expo was the largest, most comprehensive, and longest-running promotional effort yet undertaken." By Hong Kong at an international event, Hong Kong is proud to have participated in this most successful World Expo ever in Shanghai. I must thank the outstanding leadership, strong support, and excellent coordination from our Shanghai counterparts, which allow us to have a most successful presence in Shanghai Expo. Though the party is over now, our friendship will last much longer. And I am looking forward to more future cooperation in many different fields with Shanghai. Hong Kong's two exhibitions in the Expo Park were very popular among the visitors, especially the 3D movie on the ground level. And the mini wetland park on the rooftop. Different exhibitions in the atrium level also attracted great attention. The application of smart car technology shown in Hong Kong's UBPA exhibition also impressed visitors. Hong Kong Week from October 18th to 22nd was the climax of Hong Kong's participation in Shanghai Expo. More than 200,000 visitors enjoyed the performances, daily parade, and other activities, including music, dance. Cantonese opera, design, and arts, staged by 12 Hong Kong organizations inside the Expo Park. A series of events and activities held during the Expo period helped Hong Kong and Shanghai to foster much deeper and broader links in many different areas, including financial. And legal services, tourism, creative industries, performing arts, education, and green living, as well as between officials and professional groups. Meanwhile, Hong Kong staged large-scale exhibitions on design, photography, comics and animations, and fashion outside the Expo Park to highlight the strengths and talents of Hong Kong's creative industries. And boost exchanges between the creative sectors of Hong Kong and Shanghai. During Shanghai Expo, Hong Kong organized a total of 34 cultural and performing arts programs involving 100 performances to showcase Hong Kong's talents in culture, arts, and creativity. The Hong Kong productions generally played to packed houses and to greater acclaim, which was a tribute not just to Hong Kong's performing arts sector, but also to the strong links between Hong Kong and Shanghai. I must also extend my sincere appreciation to all individuals and organizations involved in the planning and execution of Hong Kong's participation in Shanghai Expo. For a great job done, including our sponsors for your kind contributions in making Hong Kong shine. A very big thank you to everyone. <laughs>